On 21 March 476 AD, there rose a star shining brightly in Bharatvarsh, known as Aryabhat. The first of the great astronomers and mathematician of the classical age of India, he had acquired vast knowledge in the field of mathematics. So he is called father of mathematics. He also discovered several things for which Indians feel proud of even now. His renowned discoveries were algebraic identities, trigonometric functions, the value of pi, and the place value system, etc. Aryabhat wrote many famous books, which are treated as Bible in mathematics. Many youngsters were inspired by Aryabhat in the field of mathematics and astronomy. His contribution to our society is highly acclaimed till date. India's first satellite, various institutions almost in each state, various awards are named after him. Aryabhat is a towering figure in the world of mathematics and astronomy. Aryabhat was the first of the great astronomers of the classical age of India. He had a huge influence on Indian mathematics and astronomy, with his works providing the basis for the achievements of future figures in these fields. Furthermore, Aryabhat's work was well known throughout the Islamic world and played a part in the Islamic Golden Age. Particularly, his astronomical calculation methods along with the trigonometric tables were widely used in the Islamic world and used to compute many Arabic astronomical tables. Dhajis. The work of Aryabhatta was not known to the West for centuries after his death. However, when his work was translated to Latin in the 1200s, it became very influential and many of his ideas were utilized by European mathematicians and astronomers. Birthplace There is no doubt of the year of Aryabhatta's birth since he tells us that he was 23 years of age when he wrote Aryabhatiya, which he finished in 499 BC, so it comes out 21st March 476 BC. Aryabhatta wrote Aryabhatiya in Kusmapura or Patliputra, present day Patna in Bihar. That time Patliputra was the capital of the Gupta Empire and a major center of learning. But there have been numerous other places proposed by historians as his birthplace. Education It is however definite that he travelled to Kusmapura, modern day Patna, for studies and even resided there for some time. The archaeologists hold this belief till today that he continued his studies in Kusmapura. The reason behind the beliefs is his significant works of astronomy were found in Kusmapura. It is mentioned in a few places that Aryabhatta was the head of the educational institute in Kusmapura. The University of Nalanda had an observatory in its premises, so it is believed that Aryabhatta was the principal of the university as well. Aryabhatta is also reputed to have set up an observatory at the Sun Temple in Taregana, Bihar. Works of Aryabhat His major work, Aryabhatiya, a collection of mathematics and astronomy, was extensively referred to in the Indian mathematical literature and has survived to modern times. The mathematical part of the Aryabhatiya covers arithmetic, algebra, plane trigonometry, and spherical trigonometry. It also contains continued fractions, quadratic equations, sum of power series, and a table of signs. The astronomical part of the Aryabhatiya covers planetary motions, eclipse, celestial equator, node, and the shape of the Earth, astrophysical computations. The Ari Siddhanta, a lost work on astronomical computations based on the older Surya Siddhanta. It also contained a description of several astronomical instruments. A third text, which may have survived the Arabic translation, is Al Entev or Al Nan.
Haribatiya is his only known surviving work and it is widely regarded as his magnum opus great work the name aryabhatta is due to later commentators aryabhatta himself may not have given it a name he was only 23 when he wrote his book it is primarily an astronomical treatise written in 121 verses its mathematical section contains 33 verses giving 66 mathematical rules Aryabhatta was a hugely influential text and it presents many ideas that are foundational to modern astronomy and mathematics. This book was translated in Latin language in 30th century. World mathematicians used the translated version for various formula and methods to calculate areas volumes of different shapes. square roots and cubes with his work on astronomy there was complete change in the vision of world scientists about space Aryabhatta is divided into four chapters Dashagitika 13 verses Ganitapada mathematics 33 verses kala kriya pada time calculations 25 verses and gol pada sphere 50 verses the first chapter is gitika pada that has 13 verses it deals with cosmology and large units of time kalpa manvantar and yuga the planetary revolutions in a mahayuga is mentioned to be up to 4.32 million years let us see one by one dashagitika first verse is introductory second verse gives representation of numbers in alphabetical notations the next nine verses contain the basic definitions of the great indian periods yuga manu and kal a distance measure yojana and the astronomical parameters of his system the 10th verse of dashagitika gives a table of sine function the last verse is tail piece in which importance of astronomy is stressed The second part or chapter is the Ganita part. Ganita in Sanskrit means calculations. It has 33 verses. It has seven verses on arithmetic. For example, on extraction of square roots, cube roots, fractions, and the rule of three. Next, 12 verses on mensuration and geometry, namely on the areas of a triangle. trapezium circle or any plane figure on the surface area of sphere volumes of pyramids and sphere value of pi construction of circles triangle and quadrilaterals pythagoras theorem length of a chord and a shadow problem two verses on trigonometry for example geometric determination of sine function in calculations of tables of sine differences tables of sine on algebra arithmetic progression sum of squares and cubes of natural numbers rules of solution for simple quadratic and intermediate equations and arithmetic and geometric equations The third part is Kala Kriya Path. Calculation of the time, consisting of 25 verses. With this, Aryabhatta turned to astronomy in particular, treating planetary motion along the elliptic. The topics include definitions of various units of time, eccentric and epicyclic models of planetary motion, planetary longitude corrections for different terrestrial locations. 
a method for determining the position of planets for a given day calculations concerning the intercalary month adhik masa kshay tithis and a seven day week with names for the days of week that is the theory of lords of the hours and days an astrological concept used for determining variable times for action the fourth chapter is goal path that consists of 50 verses Aryabhatta ends with spherical astronomy in Gola where he applied plane trigonometry to spherical geometry by projecting points and lines on the surface of a sphere onto appropriate planes Topics include prediction of solar and lunar eclipses and a clear cut statement that the apparent westward motion of the stars is due to the spherical earth's rotation about its axis Aryabhatta also correctly ascribed the luminosity of the moon and the planets to reflected sunlight. Contributions of Aryabhatta There are many important contributions of Aryabhatta, but I have picked a few of them which can be understood by everyone of all age groups. Let us see one by one. First, writing numbers as alphabets. Aryabhatta is written in the form of poem so you may be wondering how the numbers and formulas are written isn't it so let me introduce you to the method which Aryabhatta used for this in the first chapter gitika pad of aryabhatta aryabhatta explains the system he has used in order to express numbers using alphabets This system of numeration has been used to express large numbers and express those numbers in such a way that it perfectly fits in the poetic meter used for composition. For this, Aryabhatta uses the alphabets of the Sanskrit language. In Sanskrit, the consonants ka to ma are varga consonants and they are grouped into five vargas, namely ka varga, cha varga, T varga, T varga, and P varga. The remaining consonants from Y to H are called A varga consonants, not belonging to any varga. The vowels in Sanskrit language are A, E, U, R, U, L, A, O, I, and O. Each of these vowels represents a multiplicative factor of the order 10 which numeral system allowed numbers up to 10 days to 18 to be represented with an alphabetical notation in the second sutra of first chapter of aryabhatta named gitika pad aryabhatta explains how these alphabets can be used to represent any number let us look into this sutra consonants Aryabhatta states that the word consonants that is all alphabets from k to m each take a numerical value of 1 to 25 respectively or over the consonants that is from y to h they are 30 40 50 up to 100 like that whenever an ikara is used the value is multiplied by 100 So when an ukara is used, the multiplier is ten thousand. Rukara multiplies it by ten lakh. To illustrate with example, find value of the word kuchi. Here, ko equal to one, ki equal to hundred, and ku equal to ten thousand. Similarly, chi equal to six hundred. Therefore, ku plus chi equal to Ten thousand plus six hundred equal to ten thousand six hundred. I hope you have understood this. We can see the implementation of this numeral system in a shloka on sine function. It says maki, bhaki, faki, daki. Sounds funny, but actually these are the numbers. Maki equal to two hundred twenty-five. Bhaki equal to two hundred twenty. 
like this interesting na no? this is the another great invention of aryabhat he is the first one to identify the r sign differences in terms of r minutes he most probably understood the concept of zero and the place value system it is considered that aryabhat was familiar with the concept of zero and the place value system he also used null coefficients and very rightly was aware of the use of zero in such place although nowhere in his works did he use the symbol of zero French mathematician Georges Ypres argues that the existence and knowledge of zero were implicit in Aryabhata's place value system as a placeholder for the powers of 10 with null coefficients. Ypres based his supposition on the following two facts. First, the invention of his alphabetical counting system would have been impossible without zero or the place value system. Secondly, he carries out calculations on square and cubic roots which are impossible if the numbers in question are not determined according to the place value system in zero this is an incredible achievement for the time and one of the earliest proper understanding of the concept of zero which is fundamental to mathematics in ganita aryabhata names the first 10 decimal places and gives algorithms a step by step procedure for solving a problem or accomplishing some end for obtaining square and cubic roots using the decimal number system decimal system also called hindu arabic number system it is called as positional numeral system 10 is taken as the base 10 different numerals the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 are required it also requires a dot decimal point to represent decimal fractions in this screen a number take different place values depending upon position in a base 10 system the number 543.21 represents the sum 5 into 10 is to 2 plus 4 into 10 is to 1 plus 3 into 10 is to 0 plus 2 into 10 is to minus 1 plus 1 into 10 is to minus 2 positional numeration the positional decimal system with the inclusion of zero the one we use today has the advantage of allowing us to write any number with only 10 different digits that is from 0 to 9 which makes it easier to operate with very large quantities in contrast to for example the roman numerical system based on the letters i v x l c d and m which represents the number 1 5 10 50 100 500 and 1000 in positional system the value of each digit depends on its position within the number for whole numbers starting from right to left the first digit corresponds to the units the second corresponds to the tens the third to the hundreds and so on for example 5876 equal to 5000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 6 this is the place value system of aryabhat the digit has value according to its place it is written from right to left for example in this case the last digit at unit place ekams thani 6 so its value is 6 similarly the digit at second place that is 10th place dasham thani 7 so its place value is 10 into 7 equal to 70 though its face value is 7 the digit at third place that is 100th place shatam thani 8 So its value is 100 into 8 equal to 800 though the face value is 
and the digit at fourth place that is 1000 place sahasram sthan is 5 so its value is 1000 into 5 equal to 5000 so the place value is 5 in non positional systems for example the roman system the symbol always has the same value regardless of the position it occupies which requires such a large number of symbols for the large numbers that it becomes impractical to perform operations with them. For example, in Roman numerals, 5876 is MMMMMDCCCLXXVI. So you have seen how difficult it has been. Maribetta was the first known person to solve Diophantine equations. A Diophantine equation is an equation that has more than one unknown integer. A simple Diophantine equation would be Ax plus By equal to C. In this equation, A, B and C are given integers and X and Y unknown integers. Maribetta is the earliest known work which examines integer solutions to Diophantine equations of the form by equal to ax plus c and by equal to ax minus c. For this purpose, Aribert promptly introduced a new and popular method known as the Kuttaka method. The word Kuttaka means to pulverize broken into small parts. Maribetta's method was based around a recursive, repeated algorithm which involved writing the original factors in smaller numbers. This method became the standard method for solving the first order Diophantine equations in Indian mathematics and the whole subject is called as Kuttakaganitha or simply Kuttak. Diophantine equations were considered very difficult to solve at the time and the Kuttak method quickly became very popular. It is still the standard method of solving such equations. For example, find the number which gives 5 as a reminder when divided by 8, 4 as a reminder when divided by 9 and 1 as a reminder when divided by 7. That is, find n equal to 8x plus 5 equal to 9y plus 4 plus 7z plus 1, it turns out the smallest value for n equal to 85. Aryabhat made major contributions to algebra. Aryabhatiya provides simple solutions to complex mathematical problems of the time like summing the first n integers the squares of these integers and also their cubes. For example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus n so on up to n equal to n into bracket n plus 1 bracket complete upon 2 and 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square equal to n into bracket n plus 1 into bracket 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and third 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to n cube equal to n into bracket n plus 1 upon 2 whole bracket complete square that is the Arivata's formula to calculate the sum of first 10 integers, their squares and their cubes. The shloka for this is The term opacity or chitti is used in the sense of a series in general. The term chitti guna literally means the solid contents of files 
or balls or bricks in the shape of a pyramid on a triangular base. The pyramid is so constructed that there is one brick in the topmost layer, one plus two bricks in the next lower layer and so on. In the nth layer which forms the base, there are one plus two plus three plus and so on plus n bricks. Similarly, the words Varga Chitti Ghana and Ghana Chitti Ghana are respectively used for some of the series of squares and cubes. The term Varga Chitti Ghana means square base and Ghana Chitti Ghana means cuboidal base. That is one brick in the topmost layer, two square bricks in the next lower layer and so on for Varga Chitti Ghana. And for Ghana Chitti Ghana, one brick in the topmost layer, two cube bricks in the next lower layer, and so on. Contributions of Aryabhat Trigonometry Furthermore, Aryabhat correctly calculated the areas of a triangle and of a circle. For example, in Ganita Pad 6, his writings can be translated as For a triangle, the result of a product of perpendicular with the half side is the area. Arya discussed the concept of sign as Arthaja means half cut. For simplicity, it became Ja, while translating in Arabic, it became Jiba. Later in 12th century in Latin, it was known as sinus co or bay from that English word sign. In trigonometry, Arya gave table of signs calculating the approximate values at intervals of 90 degree divided by 24 equal to 3 degree 45 minutes. In order to do this, he used a formula for sin n plus 1 x minus sin x in terms of sin x and sin n minus 1 x. He was also the one to introduce the word sin were sin equal to 1 minus cosine into trigonometry. One of the most important achievements of Aryabhat is giving an approximate value of pi. An account of this is found in the second pad of Aryabhatiya, Ganita 10, where he explains add 4 to 100, multiply by 8 and then add 62,000. By this rule, the circumference of a circle with the diameter of 20,000 can be approached. 100 plus 4 into 8 plus 62,000 equal to pi d equal to pi into 20,000. This calculation gives the value of pi to be 62,832 divided by 20,000 equal to 3.1416 reflecting an accuracy of 5 significant digits. Marifat's value of pi is very close approximation to the modern value and the most accurate among those of the ancients. Furthermore, it is also considered that Arivata knew that the value of pi was irrational. This was an amazing discovery since the value of pi was proved to be irrational only in the year 1761 by Swiss mathematician Johann Heinrich Lambert. Aryabhat also gives area of circle without pi. In Ganita 7th verse, he says, half of the circumference when multiplied by half of the diameter exactly gives area of a circle. Then he develops properties of similar right angle triangles and of two intersecting circles and Pythagoras theorem and many more. Arya Bhatia is really Ghagar Visagar, see in a pot. His disciple Bhaskara I correctly quoted about Aryabhat. He is the master who after reaching the farthest shores and plumbing the inmost depths of the sea of ultimate knowledge of mathematics, kinematics and spherics handed over the three sciences to the learned world. Contributions of Aryabhat Astronomy He made incredibly accurate calculations of the length of the day and the year. 
Aryabhat calculated the circumference of the earth as 39,968 km while the actual circumference is 40,075 km. Thus, Aryabhat's value of the size of the earth is only 0.2% smaller than the actual size. Aryabhat also put forth impressive calculations regarding the sidereal rotation. Rotation calculated by referencing the position of the fixed stars of the earth. He calculated it as 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds. This is unbelievably close to the modern day calculated value of 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds, representing an error of merely 0.09 seconds. He also estimated the length of the year to be 365 days, 6 hours, 12 minutes, 30 seconds, which only deviates from today's calculations by 3 minutes 20 seconds. Similarly, Aryabhat calculated the value of the sidereal year, the length of the year, to be 365.25858 days. As compared to the actual length of a year calculated today, which comes out to be 365.25636 days. These calculations by Aryabhat were one of the most accurate calculations in the world till that time. He was the first to explain that moon and planets shine due to the reflected sunlight. Even with the lack of any accurate astronomical instruments at that time, Aryabhat was able to successfully deduce that the earth is round and revolves around its axis. Furthermore, he connected this with the existence of the day and night. Aryabhat used a geocentric model for the solar system in which the sun and moon are each carried by epicycles which in turn revolve around the earth. However, despite using a geocentric model, Aryabhat correctly explained how the moons and planets have no light of their own but shine due to the reflection of sunlight. Furthermore, he corrected the flawed belief that eclipses are caused due to the two demons Rahu and Ketu and explained that they are caused due to the shadows of the earth and the moon and described how to calculate their timing and their size. The computational model of Aryabhat was so accurate that in the 18th century, scientist Guillaume Le Gentil found his calculations regarding the duration of the lunar eclipse of 30th August 1765 to be short by only 41 seconds. Isn't it amazing? He explained how movement of celestial bodies was due to rotation of the earth. Aryabhat explained how the earth moves around its axis and he also explained how the apparent movements of the stars in the night sky is. In fact, relative motion that is caused by the rotation of the earth. This strikes the popularly accepted view of the time that this was caused by the rotation of the sky. All this and more is mentioned in the very first chapter of Aryabhatiya, where Aryabhat calculates the number of rotations of the earth in Yuga, one of the four eras defined in Hinduism. He writes, in the same way that someone in a boat going forward sees an unmoving object going backwards, so someone on the equator sees the unmoving stars going uniformly westward. The cause of rising and setting is that the sphere of the stars together with the planets apparently turns due west at the equator constantly pushed by the cosmic wind. 
Tamil method, another influential text titled Arya Siddhanta. Aryabhata also penned another major work on astronomical computations known as the Arya Siddhanta. However, this has been lost through the ages. The Arya Siddhanta came into light primarily through the works of astronomer Varaha Mihir, who was Aryabhata's contemporary. Later, it was also picked by famous mathematicians such as Brahmagupta and Bhaskara I. Arisiddhanta makes use of the midnight day reckoning and is based on the older Surya Siddhanta. There is a special chapter named Yantradhyaya. The work covers some of the major astronomical instruments of the time including the perfect circular shadow instrument, Chaya Yantra, angle measuring devices, semicircular and circular devices, Dhanur Yantra, Chakra Yantra, umbrella shaped device, Chatra Yantra, a cylindrical stick, Yashti Yantra, and water clocks that include bow shaped and cylindrical designs. Let us see some of these instruments. A Noman Shanku Yantra is the part of a sundial that casts a shadow. The term is used for a variety of purposes in mathematics and other fields. A water clock is any timepiece by which time is measured by the regulated flow of liquid into or out from a vessel where the amount is then measured. A third text which may have survived in the Arabic translation is al nan or al nan It claims that it is a translation by Aribat, but the Sanskrit name of this work is not known. Probably dating from the 9th century, it is mentioned by the Persian scholar and chronicler of India, Ibu Rehan. Additionally, Aryabhat also been credited with setting up an observatory at the Sun Temple in Taregana. This observatory was built on a 20 feet high land at the Sun Temple that once existed in Taregana. It was from this observatory that he and his team used to gaze the stars. Death of Aryabhat Aryabhat died a successful mathematician, astronomer and a scientist at the age of 74. The place and time of death are still unknown. It was believed he spent most of his life in Kusmapura, Patliputra. The contributions of a scientist since Aryabhat has never been the same. He truly made the world notice India in terms of holding scientific knowledge and value that actually made a difference to the world. He challenged and contradicted many beliefs that were going on at the time and through calculations provided pieces of evidence for it to be true. And after all these years, his work does not flinch from meticulous accuracy. There are very few scientists who achieved in their lifetime an extraordinary duty of work and Aryabhat was one of them. Awards and honors in the name of Aryabhat. India recognizes his contribution. Various institutions almost in each state are named after him. Aryabhatta Knowledge University, AKU, Patna, has been established by Government of Bihar for the development and management of educational infrastructure related to technical, medical, management, and allied professional education in his honor. An institute for conducting research in astronomy, astrophysics, and atmospheric sciences 
is the Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences, ARIES, near Nainital, India. India's first satellite, Aryabhat, and the lunar crater Aryabhatta are both named in his honor. The Aryabhat satellite also featured on the reverse of the Indian two rupee note and on a postage stamp. The inter-school Aryabhatta maths competition is also named after him. As is Bacillus Aryabhattai, a species of bacteria discovered in the stratosphere by ISRO scientists in 2009, the bacterium that produced the largest amount of PHP, polyhydroxybutyric acid. A bioplastic material is expected to become a substitute for petroleum plastics. The Aribat Award is an annual award presented to individuals with notable lifetime contributions in the field of astronautics and aerospace technology in India. It was instituted by the Astronautical Society of India (ASI), established in 1990 an international astronautical federation's member since 1958 the award usually is presented by minister of state in prime minister's office the award consists of a citation and rupees 1 lakh in cash a bronze bust of aryabhatta was unveiled at the unesco headquarters in paris france it was unveiled by union human research and development minister Smriti Irani. She was in the French capital to attend the international conference on Jiro. Aryabhat's book Aryabhatiya is in Sanskrit. It was also translated into English by Professor W. U. Clark of Harvard University. There are five editions of the Sanskrit text of Aryabhatiya, and a number of complete translations. Four in English, three in Hindi, one in Marathi, and another in Telugu. Besides, there are extant about a dozen Sanskrit commentaries written in the period 525 to 1854. A wealth of literature for historians of science, indeed. It may be mentioned that on the occasion of 1500th birth anniversary celebration of Aryabhat. At New Delhi on 2nd November 1976, four important publications were released. Besides, an international symposium was also held, at which 25 papers were presented. The Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, which sponsored the whole program, must be congratulated for this. Archaeological experts and historians have launched. a campaign to unravel the mystery of the observatory of the great mathematician aryabhat recorded in the pages of patliputra's history dr vijay kumar choudhary director kashi prasad jaiswal research institute patna a prestigious research institute said that the archaeological exploration has been started from beheta khagol and masudi the famous sites of aryabhat's observatory the great mathematician aryabhat's book aryabhatiya mentions patliputra's observatory in time the name of its site changed an attempt has been initiated to clear the veil of mystery through archaeological exploration by accurately ascertaining the same site he said that As part of the archaeological investigation, the site near Khagol, Masudi, and Bihta in Patna district is being studied. Due to the name of the sites, three major observatories are likely to be found there, as per their astronomical importance. Chaudhary said the Tare Ganas, located near Masudi, Khagol, and Bihta, have triangular relations. The three sites are located at the same distance of 25-25 kilometers, and a triangle is formed by combining the points. The mound of Taregana near Bihta has now gone into the Son River, 
which is visible when the water is low. He said that when excursions were done in nearby area, sun statues and other things found. According to Dr. Rehan Ahmad, Mint Officer, Kolkata, when the excursion took place here in 1926, sealed coins of 6 BC were recovered. Arbat was born in the 5th century BC. Utensils, pottery, etc. of 6th century BC have been found in excavations around Bihata and Khagol. Masuri Taregana was considered by scientists to be the most suitable for seeing astronomical scenery. Sothari says that the archaeological exploration program is conceived on the basis of the names Astro, Taregana, Masodi, etc. Astro means universe and Taregana means counting stars. After all the study, the process of excavation will go ahead. Initially, astronomer Amitabh Pandey and director of Indira Gandhi Planetarium in Patna, Amitabh Ghosh, are supporting the project. Excavations around the Taregana's will uncover many mysteries. According to Chaudhary, international cooperation in this work will also be welcomed. We have just started. There is a long way to go. When asked about the development of solar circuit, State Tourism Minister Sunil Kumar Pintu said that the Department of Information Technology has been entrusted with the responsibility of gathering information about the same and preparing a detailed planned report. He said this includes the famous Surya Mandir at Taregana, Aurangabad. This will also help attract tourists. Astro Tourism Center The project has been proposed in order to promote astro tourism in Bihar, India. Also in memory of the famous astronomer and mathematician Aryabhat. The project will be an Astro Tour Circuit which will connect three pit stops with the following facilities. Interpretation Center The Astro Tour commences with the Interpretation Center, enlightening us with the foundation laid by Arabat in various fields along with the glimpse of the journey ahead. Taregana Jantar Mantar The second destination of the tour shall be Taregana housing the Jantar Mantar. It shall possess astronomical instruments that help us study the celestial bodies. Complementing it would be the exhibition spaces reflecting the work of Arivat. Taregana Top Observatory The Astro Tour shall conclude at Taregana Top, which comprises of an observatory which shall help people inculcate knowledge about astronomy. These three fragments act as three stepping stones, the three steps being information at the interpretation center, application leading to the Jantar Mantar and observations made at the observatory, which shall lead a lifelong journey of knowledge and promote astrotourism.